In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the spot price of silver on a steady decline the last couple of days. Is this gonna be short-lived or will it continue to fall? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about how spot price of silver is falling. We're currently looking at silver in the 25 dollar an ounce range according to spot price not stack price we're going to get into it but really quick just in case you're new make sure to subscribe for daily videos also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content brand new video over there go check it out the link will be in the description and if you want to get some dydss merchandise to help support the channel i would really 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 appreciate it any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Thursday, June 17th, 2021. It's currently 84 degrees outside, really sunny, but it's kind of breezy. It's actually the perfect day, but I'm waiting for the triple digits. Why be inside when you can be outside filming another video out here? The current spot price of silver, as I'm recording the video, is $25.87. Big red day for silver, down over a dollar. And the spot price of gold is currently $1,771. Even big red day for gold as well, down $40.90. And the current gold to silver ratio is in the 66 to 67 range. Of course, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching it. So let me know the date and time you're viewing and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But today, I wanted to talk about how the spot price has been falling because if you watched the video that I posted yesterday, I talked about how the spot price of silver was $27.29 last night, right before I started the VIP Club stream, which, by the way, I will be including a short clip from the live stream in this video right here so stay tuned for that right before i started that stream spot price had gone down to 26 dollars 95 which was first time in a little bit of time that i've seen it creep under the 27 dollar mark then of course this morning it was 2605 and i remember thinking to myself i don't know if it's going to go much lower than that i don't know if we're going to see it creep under the 26 dollar mark it would be nice I don't know if I think it's going to happen. And then, boom, it sunk down below $26, currently sitting at $25.87. Now, of course, that's the spot price, not the stack price. We all know premiums, premiums, premiums. But I also wanted to show a little clip, just a short clip from a two-hour live stream that I did last night in the VIP club. I'll leave the link in the description in case you want to become a VIP club member so you can watch the entire stream. I do live streams every Wednesday night. I do monthly giveaways. I do daily silver and gold deal alerts. I do a bunch of other stuff as well, and I guarantee you the value exceeds the cost. Link in the description if you want to join. But now, here's a quick little clip from last night's live stream. I will be honest though, it'd be pretty nice to see silver get knocked down another couple of dollars. Shortly before starting this live stream, I checked Kitco. It went down to $26.95. First time in a little while that I saw a spot price sink below $27. Granted it was only by five cents, but hey, the lower the better. And it was funny because we were already in the red earlier today when it was 27 and change. And then I posted the video and boom, right after I posted the video, like within 30 minutes, it dropped even more. I was pretty excited about that. And I've said in the past, and I'll say it again, I personally don't have a whole lot of confidence in silver massively dropping from here. I don't know if I'm really anticipating silver going back down to, let's just say, 22 bucks. It's not too far away. All it would take is falling down a couple of dollars. Not too difficult. We've seen it happen time and time again. I just don't know if it'll happen from here. It could. 
I would like for it to. I just don't know if I can necessarily see it happening. I'm not too confident that that will occur. I will say this though. We might see silver drop down by a couple of dollars if it goes up by quite a bit. For example, I mean, if silver were to, let's just say, jump up to $34. Spot price, not stack price, goes all the way up to $34. I could see it very easily falling back down to 28 or 29 So we can drop by a couple of dollars if it takes a really big leap first. But then again, I'm just thinking out loud over here. I have no idea for sure what silver is going to do. I just don't necessarily think it's going to fall too much more from where it's currently sitting. It would be nice though. I would like to pick up some silver on sale. And as much as I love the red days, dropping down by 30 cents or 60 cents or 80 cents isn't really too massive if you think about it. Silver going from $27.50 down to $26.95. That's not really much of a discount. It's nice, and I'm appreciative. Silver, thank you very much. Shout out to Silver. But come on, I want it to fall down by a couple of dollars. Two, three, four bucks. Can we see $22 silver again? I don't know, but it would be nice. I got some silver this week. I'd like to see it drop below 25. That'd be nice. Again, it's not very far away. It's not too far-fetched to request for it to drop down about a dollar fifty or two bucks. I don't think it's unreasonable. I don't know if I can really see it happening though. But again, it'd be fantastic. So yeah, that was just a little three minute clip from a two hour long live stream. Again, if you wanna become a VIP club member, the link is in the description, giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts, adventure vlogs, and so much more, link in the description. But I wanted to go a little bit more in detail in reference to the spot price because during the live stream, obviously from what I just showed you in the clip, I talked about how I personally don't believe silver is going to drop all too dramatically. And even though today, the day after I did that live stream, we're down over a dollar, even though that's the case, even though that's the reality of the situation, I don't consider that to be overly drastic. I don't consider that to be too much of a fall. So I still stand by what I said in the stream. I personally do not think it's going to happen. I don't think we're going to see silver tumble too much lower, but I'd be more than happy to be proven wrong. As I've been saying for the last three and a half years, I'm in acquisition mode. The lower, the better. Now is not the time for me to be the one sitting here with my fingers crossed waiting for silver to pop off. Absolutely not. Right now, being that I'm in acquisition mode, being that I don't have nearly enough silver to feel confident in how much silver that I have, I'm trying to get more. I'm trying to get as much as I possibly can. That's the goal. That's been the goal since December of 2017, to get my hands on as much physical silver content as humanly possible. Now, of course, my strategy for stacking has changed a little bit over the years not by a whole lot but my priorities have shifted slightly over the years but one thing remains the same trying to get my hands on that physical silver content regardless of what it is it doesn't matter to me if it's a jm bullion bar it doesn't matter to me if it's a canadian silver maple leaf it doesn't matter to me if it's a sunshine round or a silver eagle or a kangaroo or a buffalo round or an RCM bar, it doesn't matter if it's 90%. It doesn't matter if it's three nines fine. It doesn't matter if it's four nines fine. I just want the silver. That's what I'm going after. And I'm pretty tunnel vision right now, I guess you could probably say. 
So I know what my goals are. I know what my objectives are. I know what my priorities are. Of course, the premiums are a little bit of a roadblock, but I'm not going to let the premiums dictate how I'm taking care of my financial future, how I'm taking care of myself and setting myself up for what I believe to be inevitable success long term. Stacking the silver as a hedge against inflation, because guess what? When inflation really kicks in, and I know it's kind of on the brink of starting, we see the price of lumber going up, we're seeing the price of groceries go up, we're seeing the price of a couple different things go up, not by a whole lot, but something tells me inflation, when I say inflation, I'm talking about big time inflation, I'm talking about rent going way up, I'm talking about gas going way up, I'm talking about clothing going way up, I'm talking about everything going way up. In my opinion and from my perspective, not a financial advisor, nothing on this channel is financial advice. Do your own research, form your own opinions, make your own decisions based off of your conclusions, not mine. But the conclusion that I came to was that big time inflation seems to be right around the corner. And if and when that really kicks off, and I believe it will, I think the silver will be one of the several things that help keep us afloat. Now, I could be wrong, by the way. I've been wrong in the past, and I'll be wrong again in the future. I personally don't think I'm going to be wrong on this, though. So I'm going to keep stacking away, regardless of what spot price is doing. Screw the buy low, sell high mentality. For me, it's buy now, sell never. But the buy now, sell never gets a little bit of an extension. Buy now, sell never, but buy a little bit more on the red days. That's a lot of people's mentality when it comes to the stock market. That's a lot of people's mentality when it comes to real estate. And guess what? That's my mentality when it comes to the precious metals. It's also my mentality when it comes to stocks as well. And if I had the currency to get involved in real estate, that'd be my view on that as well. And I do plan on getting involved in real estate one day, but not yet. Right now is time to stack. Right now is silver and also gold acquisition mode lasered in on the precious metals right now trying to get as much as possible is it to make money nope it's to save money in a way that i consider to be smarter than a savings account which gives me what 0.0001 percent year to year or something like that no thanks i'm not interested in a fraction of a penny for letting them hold on to my currency that's depreciating in value. I would rather put that currency into real true honest money, which has the potential to appreciate in value and stand strong and outperform inflation, might even see some pretty hefty capital gains over time. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. What are your thoughts on the spot price? being in the red this week. What are your thoughts on the spot price of silver sinking down over a dollar? I mean, we were just looking at silver in the 2750s a couple days ago. Just yesterday, we saw it go down to the $26 range. Now we're in the $25 range. What are your thoughts on the spot price falling when it comes to both of the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shoutouts, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. 
go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you, it comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? Silver's down. Gold is down. Like I said, I've been talking about silver this entire video in the $25 an ounce range. But gold is back in the 1700s. What are your thoughts on that right there? Are you going to continue stacking both? Do you consider big red days like today to be not too big of a deal? Maybe it's not even really scratching the surface for you. Maybe you don't even care. Maybe this doesn't phase you. Maybe you don't get excited. doesn't matter. Or maybe this is terrible, horrible news. Maybe you hate the red days. Maybe you're ready for silver to just completely take off out of nowhere. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.